And you want to understand a lot of basic information about a lot of industries. One of the things that happens is people get so focused on corporate securities or so focused on a labor practice that all they can talk about, have you ever met people like this? All they can talk about is one dimension of what it is they do for a living. The conversation swings to something else and they just kind of stand there. And if it comes back to, you know, securities, you know, law, they can go, oh, well, you know, the IPOs that I worked on, blah, blah, blah. And that's all they can do is keep bringing the conversation back to their one dimension. Try to know a lot about what's going on in other industries. And one of the ways to do that is just read a lot. You know, even if it's just skimming, I know you don't have a lot of time to spend reading periodicals, but skim the periodicals. Read the business section. Read the business journal. Find out what's going on in town and take a little interest in things that are outside of your world that impact the community that we live in so that you can be an active part of any discussion that comes up so you're not just kind of standing there going, yeah, while everybody else is sitting there having a conversation. Now there's a couple myths about networking. I'm going to blow through these pretty fast because they're all myths. So none of you believe these myths, I'm sure. But number one is networking is only for when you're not busy. So when you've got a lot of hours going, you think, oh, I don't need to go to those events. I'm billing, I'm billing, I'm billing. That's all that's important. And then you have kind of a slow month and you're like, wow, I really should kind of get out there. So now, now that I'm slow, maybe I should shine up, sign up for that event. You always have to be active in the community. And sometimes that takes really watching your schedule, sometimes it takes making hard choices, but lots of times people think, well, I get busy, my clients and friends out in the community realize that I have this high-powered, important job, and when I'm not there, they think, well, he's not here because he's working on some huge deal, you know, we wish we were him. What really happens is somebody says, hey, have you seen Billy? And they say, no, you know, he always blows this stuff up, and what they're thinking is, I drove across town, I made it to the Arboretum at 5.30, you know, through all that traffic up Mopac, I was able to make the sacrifice to get here, you know, obviously he doesn't care. It's never seen as good if you disappear, you know, out of sight is out of mind and if you're out of sight and then you come into mind, it's never positive. Nobody ever jumps to, wow, think of all the great deals he's doing, you know, down there on Congress Avenue. Only senior executives need to network. That's a huge myth. We already started this whole thing by saying no matter what your job is, you need to network because it's important to you and the firm. But a lot of people say, well, we've got those three old partners down the hall who are the rainmakers, they just feed me work. That's great, they feed me work. Well, in the old days, that worked out great inside law firms. Nowadays, you're expected to have a book of business if you're gonna make partner. And a lot of people get to be like 50 or 60 year and they start looking at that partner track and they've never left their cube. And they're like, well, you know, who do you know? What, who are your clients? Well, I don't know, I just work for Billy. Well, you know, nowadays, there's no track to partnership unless they think you're adding value. And so you have to be really alert to this early so that you're laying the groundwork. I don't even talk about this one anymore. People you meet networking never refer business. That's just a lie. I get referred business all the time. Spencer's wife, we were at a birthday party for a mutual friend's kid. She called me the next day and referred business to VCFO for one of her friends. It happens all the time that people you either meet for the first time or people you run into who you haven't seen in a while the next day something comes up and they go, hey, you need to call him. It happens every single day in this town. And so you need to be focused on the fact that it does work. Now, if it's not working for you, maybe you need to fine tune how you're doing it. But the process works and it works for people every day. Then there's the myth of if you're really good at your job, the work will find you. I call this the Kevin Costner School of Doing Business. If you build it, they will come. 